Good morning. Today, I'd like for us to focus on something a little bit more on the spiritual side and just speak and allow for a spirit connection to come through. stillness, the clarity, the illuminations come through. In a place where you have a connection with this, the Great Spirit, and the innocence and the naivete of being in that presence so that you are ready to open to what is coming through. Our journeys are chaotic enough as it is. And that is why when we speak from spirit place, we allow for the essence of vibration, frequency to come through. First, it is important to put yourself into this very beautiful place of receptivity. We breathe in and we breathe out. That simple gesture alone says, I bring in a new, release that old. And in that gesture, the doors are open. What it is that we choose to have as our support agent, support tool, whether it's the essence of a sound, or whether it's the senses awoken by the smells, by the textures, by the shapes, whatever it is that allows for us to allow for this conduit, this portal to open is what is key. You have to discover what is that key for you. You're not going to understand it entirely right on the onset, but it's this essence of you bringing into your journey the way in which you best can allow for your journey to be in the way that is good. Good and bad life and death, all the opposites that are there. Our journeys are meant to experience all of that, but it is not meant to stay in one place, in one thought, one way for an extended period of time. Because that eventually will bring a hurt into our journey. That is why if you want your darkness to come out, let it come out for just a, a brief moment. But then allow then the essence of goodness to come through, breathe in. And let that essence come in to a manifesting. The hurt is going to continue and I know that each one of us is in darkness at a moment in time. And in those moments, you must look beyond what that situation is. For that beyond says, you're still alive. You've got that ability to make those corrections, those changes, so that you can be a better being. 
Just let yourself connect with this, that earth connection. Let yourself connect with this, that is, that spiritual connection. And remember, it is not doctrine or religion that we speak of. It's the essence that is you. What makes you happy? What is it that allows for you to be the best for those that are around you? Immediate family, partner, extended family, tribe, land, country, world. Everything is interconnected. We are all connected. So the essence that you do with your being, it's going to emanate and radiate out onto all that is around. Have the ability to breathe that right essence so that you are able to make that appropriate expression. Today, I didn't know what it was that I was to speak of. But Spirit allowed for me to say, just open yourself to me. And that way then I can share with you of what needs to be. Don't worry about if what you're doing is coming across in a good way. It may not be. Some people may not resonate and may not be in the place of receptivity, but it's the essence of vibration that comes through them that they, in their quiet moments, we, in our quiet moments, will reflect. Which gives us that opportunity to begin a processing in that journey. Words and events and situations will continue. And therefore, it is important for you to let yourself react to it. Be spontaneous with that reaction. For in that spontane in spontaneity, it comes from the elements of simplicity, of innocence, of naivete. And that then brings that spirit up front and says, this is how I will react for you at this moment, in that you are protected. You are walking a good journey because you are hearing me today. And we make commitments, follow through on them. If you should make a mistake, begin again. It's not the end of your journey. Begin again, learn to correct, learn to bring things into the right way. Let that self be brought into a connection with this, the Great Spirit. The words that you're hearing, you may not completely understand, but at least understand the words that you know and learn to bring that into your way. My brothers, my relations, my sisters, my family, all of you are. And I can't condemn you for your shortcomings, for we all have shortcomings. We just need to learn to bring ourselves into a connection with spirit and say, look after me, watch over me, teach me, show me, so that I may then be in the way that is good. I honor you again today. Walk this day in a good way. Let the heart beat in a good way. Emanate, radiate in a good way. Breathe in, breathe out. It is a good day. Ma ham okyo.